Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Project Zomboid, shall we? Continuing with our complete beginner's guide here in 2023, and it's time to make a new character, okay? So we're going to bring a new character back into the world that we made at the beginning of the series, because... As you saw, our first character met an untimely death turning into a zombie. So, when you die, you get taken back to the title screen, or you can just click, if you want to keep playing at that point, from the end screen menu. And you just need to make sure that you start your game by clicking continue, and then choosing the world that you've created if you have more than one, and selecting Rosewood as your starter location, which is what we did here. So um, I made sure I selected Rosewood, okay, and I got us back to this screen. And I've already populated this with some information, but I do want to say a few things. First of all, don't sleep on the idea of choosing unemployed as your starter occupation, okay? I'm choosing a job for us because I think it's easier as a beginner to have some kind of um, path to walk on. But if you choose unemployed, the advantage is you get positive eight trait points out of the gate that you can spend, um, unlike the carpenter who only gets positive two. Now, you can, of course, again, do whatever you want. But what I'm going to do is talk to you about using Carpenter as our build again, but instead of doing what we did last time, where we only took Outdoorsman as our trait, spending our positive points, I'm going to show you a build now where what we're going to do is use a lot of negative traits and some powerful positive traits to kind of really double down on what the Carpenter is going to provide us with in the game. So... I didn't do this at first for the sake of simplicity and learning some things about the game, but let's talk about what happens if you want to take some negative traits with your character so that you can get some good bonuses. I have picked some negative traits that I think are fine, okay? Let me talk to you about them specifically. Sunday driver just means you drive slowly, okay? And it gives you one positive trait point if you do it this is not a huge deal okay uh it's it doesn't impact your gameplay enough so it's effectively almost like a free trait point same thing with slow reader we're playing on single player so because we're playing on single player we can speed up time we don't care that it takes longer for us to read books as long as we have a safe place to do that we can just speed up the time and totally negate this effectively and so this is right here with these two three trait points that right there now weak stomach is a negative trait that you can take and it gives you a higher chance to have food illness but basically as long as you don't eat food that's spoiled bad um, burned things like that you this doesn't affect you um so as long as you just eat good food you just you know be careful about what you eat then weak stomach is not a big deal, and we can manage this pretty simply. Pacifist, um, it says less effective with weapons. Now, remember, you can always go to the Project Zomboid wiki to really get a better sense of the numbers behind this, but this just makes you, um, I believe it's 20% slower at leveling up all weapon skills, okay? So that is, you know... Not something to sneeze at, but it gives you four trait points. And we'll talk about how our build mitigates this pretty nicely. And then finally, I've taken Conspicuous, okay? Now, this one might be dangerous. You don't have to take this if you don't want, if you're really um, not comfortable with the combat in the game, for example. But this is, makes us more likely to be spotted by zombies and... As you get better at the game, this just becomes less of an issue. It's not like, because you'll be good at getting away from zombies or fighting zombies, and you can um, completely 
uh, handle this if you're prepared. Now, if you don't want to take this, I totally understand you don't have to, okay? Um, but if you take all of these negative traits, you get the benefit here, okay, of some very positive traits that are extremely impactful. So, let's start at the worst. Dexterous. Dexterous just means that when you're transferring items from your bag um, to your hand, it goes faster. And that's important because we're a carpenter, so we're going to be carrying around like planks and nails and tools, and we're going to need to be transferring a lot. So this just makes us do that a little bit faster, okay? Um, it's not a huge deal. You can take any of these other, you know, two-point traits if you want, but it's nice. But now we're getting to the really good stuff. Fast Learner just gives you increased experience gains for all skills. So you just skill up faster at everything okay so this is incredible and it stacks with some of our other abilities that we get from being a carpenter which i'll show you in a moment and then handy okay gives you plus one carpentry right out of the gate so we're going to start with four carpentry with this build and that i'll tell you why that's important and plus one maintenance so we're going to start with two maintenance for carpentry okay and it says faster and stronger constructions which means like we're going to build certain constructions faster and things that we build will have more hit points be stronger in the game okay so this is also tremendous for what we're about to do which is build our base and you could think about the game like i don't know this is something that i like to do which is if we're going to keep dying and building up a base in the game and trying to gain a foothold and not worrying about the fact that we die just spawn again and reuse what we've gained you want to have this kind of like carpenter character early so that you can build a base and fortify it pretty well simply but also because with this character we will have four carpentry immediately and four carpentry is the skill level that you need to make rain barrels which is what we can use to collect a lot of water, okay? They're going to shut off the water on us. Um, the default is 14 days for water shutoff. And once that happens, water is going to be a, something that we have to uh, work hard to get. And if we can make rain barrels, it'll just make our life a lot easier for making sure we have water. Additionally, we're going to be able to break stuff down faster and fortify our base better, okay? So... This is really, really nice to have. Um, and I want to then go back to our carpenter stuff and mention some things that I didn't highlight with the build before. Remember, we're keeping things simple, but now I'm trying to broaden out some of the scope of what we discussed. Notice here in the right column, with these are the um, skills that you get from being a carpenter, okay? Um, as our occupation we we're going to have four carpentry skill reflected up here but we're also getting just right out of the gate an 125 percent skill bonus to all carpentry skills okay everything in that tree we get 125 percent so we're better at carpentry we skill up faster with it and then you add on faster learner on top of that moreover something like short blunt we're 75 percent faster at leveling up short blunt weapon skill and we lose some of this with pacifist okay um but then we gain some back with fast learner so on the whole we're still good with short blunt and can lean into that so we're taking stuff to mitigate pacifist and we're going to just make this character even stronger than before especially at carpentry okay so um we're gonna go next now if you want okay um you can of course save um your profile and i could select you know doctor incompetent if i want to look like you know my saved profile okay um if i'm okay with this all right but uh we're gonna need to adjust the clothing right and um, I'm going to just go ahead and randomize it and make a new character. This guy looks amazing. All right. So 
remember you can save your profile if you want to just load it quickly um, like I showed you there uh, or and I don't know what my character that I had saved has no pants maybe I saved it the appearance before I did clothing but you want pants walking around Winnie the Pooh style is not going to benefit you um, unless that's just a must for you personally all right so we're gonna go with um, in comp tutorial two all right I always like to keep track of how many times I've died and uh, let's see are we wearing yeah we've got long socks on we don't have a vest on um, but we could we could put a tank top on but that's okay I think we're looking good um, let's change our hair type to um, you know crew cut and then yep I think this looks pretty pretty good so far so um, I'm going to just say play and here we go so apparently this is how we died so now we get to go through the act of what to do when you're starting again in a world that you've created and you want to reclaim what's yours okay so immediately we crouch and I'm going to immediately push F2 to pause the game and um, actually no I'm not I'm gonna push M to open the map first and see where I am um, okay well it appears that I am here okay and this is where I died so we're in another residential area and we're gonna want to come back to this spot but to be honest our starting place is good um, we can explore this area and check things out before we go down here. Remember, when we go down here to where we died, we know that um, we're going to have to fight our own zombie, which is naked, so it should be easy. But there's a lot of zombies that were around there that killed us, so we should be prepared for that moment. Now, we've started in a new house, and remember, wherever you start, it's safe. So there's no zombies in this house. So we can take advantage of that time to get ourselves geared up and do some best practices and let's go ahead. So I'm crouching, all right? And I'm just gonna, you know, um, close these curtains up, make sure our nobody sees us from the outside. I'm actually gonna look outside and just kinda zoom out and take a gander out this window here. Okay, I don't see anything yet. Um, and we open the door. I'm just looking around, getting a feel of the place. Okay, I'm going to close, well, before I close these curtains, let's just, again, take a look. All right. Now, I see something really good, which is right here. This is the key. This is a two-story house. So now we're in a place where there's two-story houses. We were by a lot of ranch houses before, and those were not suitable for a base. But now we have a two-story home behind us, and that is a potential location for us to build a base because we can take advantage of the second floor for ease of access um, this actually this house also has a second floor so that's beautiful and so we can even think about making this our home so if you start in an area you know with just lots of single story houses you can of course fortify one of those but they're less convenient All right. Well, this is great. So we've got no curtains here, but we can talk about how to get curtains. But before we put curtains, we want to board these up anyway. So let's go ahead and take a look in the kitchen. What do we got? We've got some pop. An empty cooking pot. All right. And uh, let's check over here. A dish towel. All right, that's not a very good kitchen. Uh, let's see, what's in here? Canned beef, cook pot, pop, juice box. All right. We need better. All right, there's some good stuff to read here, but we don't need to take any of that with us. 
Remember, we're looking for the essentials. We need a weapon. We need a bag. We need first aid. Let's see what you got. All right. And honestly, so much of this good. Bandage, bandage, painkiller, tweezer. We'll take these. Um, so I'm going to open up my own inventory. And we'll just kind of drag this over here. And let's go. I'm going to stop crouching, by the way, and just look out the window and see there's a zombie in the street there. Okay. Make sure there's no one too close over here. It looks okay. All right. And let's go up the steps. And remember, I can just walk around this house um, pretty freely because it's our starter house, so there's nobody in here. Uh, there's an alarm clock that we need to make sure is off. Um, it should be off. It's, well, there's two alarm clocks. I mean, geez. Okay. They're inside the drawer, so I hope they're not active. All right. Another bathroom. We have a plunger that we could use as a weapon. We'll go ahead and, you know, take that. Soap is good. Sewing kit is nice. Um, you can carry items inside it. Um, okay. Go ahead and close these curtains for now. We can always just, you know, turn on the light. Don't have to pay the electric bill. All right. Oh, what we got here? Okay, there's a rifle in this house. That's funny, but look what we just found. We just found something that is so good, which is a hiking bag. So this hiking bag, okay, um, we're just going to equip this on our back. And now um, we have one of the best carrying items that we can have. The, the hiking bag is one of the best, if not the best, backpack in the game. Uh, and so we can carry a ton more than normal because of it. So that's great. There's a rifle and there's some rounds here, but I'm not really, you know, like super excited about that. I don't need that. I'm going to take this pen. Okay. And we can just keep going around here. And flip-flops. Darn, I was hoping that this closet would have something better. It does not. Um, there's a regular pen. We'll take it. Okay. Now I'm going to shrink this up just a little bit. All right. And let's see. Okay, there's a gun case. This house has a lot of guns. Now, this is a kid's room with a gun case. I don't know what kind of parents these were, but I'm judging them negatively. Now, maybe this doesn't have to be a kid's room. It just, I really hope it's not. Uh, let's see. So there's two gun cases, actually. And we can equip it if we want to carry it around. And then we could say what's in our gun case. And there's there's a gun in here. I mean, there's... <laughs> it's pretty unbelievable. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this gun case. I don't want it anymore, actually. Um... We're just going to drop it on the ground. Okay. So we found a bunch of guns in this house, which might be fun to mess around with later. But remember, we're unskilled, and it's just going to attract a bunch of zombies. So, you know, not critical for us at this juncture. All right. So, unfortunately, we need to move on right away. I'm going to crouch, and... Uh, I'm going to double check to make sure there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing in here. We need to go someplace else. We did get a backpack, though, so I can't be too unhappy about that. All right, so immediately, let's just do a scan. Check out where the zombies are. There's a zombie at that house. Okay, so let's kind of go over here. Um, hold E to climb over the fence. There's a radio, which we need to turn off. It's going to attract zombies. Um, I want to say turn off the radio. 
please stop making noise. All right. Now let's just take a gander inside. It looks okay. Oh. And we're going to have a hard time getting in places, unfortunately, because we don't have anything. We didn't even get like a rolling pin or something in that starter house. So we really need a window to open for us. There we go. All right, let's just double check and let's just climb in. Okay. Immediately what I want to do is, of course, check the house so that there's no surprises. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, it seems good. I need something. I need a weapon. I need something. So let's look. Okay, here's a saucepan. Um, here's a rolling pin. It's in terrible condition. Okay, saucepan, whatever. Give me something. Empty kettle, by the way. We're going to take one of these, and I'll show you why. Empty kettle, you can carry it around and store a bunch of water in it. So it's really, really nice. Um, I'm going to equip this as my primary weapon. So now we got a saucepan that we can bat people in the face with. Okay? So if we have to... We hit him with a pan. Now we're getting thirsty, okay? So we can just, um, oop, can opener. We definitely want that. We can just drink here. Now, notice our encumbrance, 4.59. Check this out. I'm going to take this empty kettle, okay? Um, and I'm going to right-click on this, and I'm going to say fill, and I'm going to say fill my empty kettle. Look at our encumbrance. It's going way up. But if I take this kettle of water and I instead put it in my backpack, okay, encumbrance goes down. In fact, I'm going to take everything that I've got here and put it in my backpack. And look at our encumbrance now. That's the beauty of this backpack that we've got. And you notice how fast we did that because of our dexterous. All right, so let's just see. Pop, water bottle is good. We can put that in our backpack. Um, you know, there's some food here, but... Okay, what you got? They have a broom, which we could take, but we're not super excited about it. There's also buckets, actually, which are very, very good for collecting rain uh, if we want, you know, water. So we can take these and then just kind of... Um... There's a zombie over there, by the way. Remember, um, we're conspicuous, so, you know... You just have to be careful. We might get spotted easier than we'd like. I need to turn off this TV. Okay. Um, this is the window we came in. Let's go ahead and close this window. We don't want a zombie sneaking through and not us not being able to hear it. Okay. We're going to close that. Okay, great. And we're just going to keep continuing to explore this first floor. There should be a bathroom. And whoa, look at this detention cell okay it's like an office beta blockers great just drag it into my backpack all right so we still want a better weapon but we have something that we can hit people with and that we can clear away smash glass with if we want okay there's a zombie right there unfortunately so we're going to try to sneak up on this zombie and smack her. Okay. Got it. Okay. Alright. That might have been a male zombie. It was a it was a man, it was a woman, it was a zombie. It's gone now. And at this point, we can look at their clothing, they don't have anything great, but we can make a rope out of their clothes, which is what we're going to do. I'm going to make some sheet ropes. Okay. And I'm going to... Uh, these shoes... I don't think these are... Oh, these are better than what we have. What kind of shoes? We have sneakers. Um... Okay, these are an upgrade, so let's just wear them, even though they're bloody. Let's get some better shoes on our feet, better protection. Okay. Um, and uh, leather gloves, fantastic. Remember, we got bit on the hand last time. These will protect our hands. All right, we've got some leather gloves. 
Fantastic. Okay. So we took care of this zombie that was up on the second floor. Let me um, go ahead and close the curtains. Now, what we want to do, of course, with this character is eventually get a base going on the second floor. And what we'll do is take that sheet rope that we made and dangle it out the window so that we can get in and out of the house by climbing the rope. But the zombies cannot climb, so they can never use it. So then we can board in the entire bottom floor and make no access points on the bottom except ones that they'd have to break through. And then that would make us um, much, much safer. Now, in order to do that, we need nails. We cannot, okay, attach the sheet rope to the wall unless we can nail it in. Um, all right, there's a hand torch. This is fine. If you want a flashlight. Um, and let's see. This looks like a closet, maybe, of some kind. Um, I'm not... Let me open the last door, make sure there's no zombies here. Okay, good. What do we got? We got a bed. We got a bunch of pens. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just close the curtains for now. I'm going to stop sneaking inside this house. We should be okay. Um, did I miss... No, it's just a weird... Yeah, it's not a closet. It's just where the toilet sticks out. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and close these curtains up. Just practice. I like this house. This could easily be a place that we make a base. But it really could be any place with two floors. All right. So we still need a much better weapon than what we have. Let's check this front closet. Well, here's a machete. So a machete is insane. A machete is a fantastic weapon. Now, we don't get to use it. I'll take this rope. Uh, oop. We don't get to use the machete to level up our skills. I'm going to go to health. I'm going to show you skills. The machete is not short blunt. Okay. The machete is a long blade. Um, I believe. I don't think it's a short blade. It might be. Either way, it's a blade. All right. And so the machete is not part of, you know, our wheelhouse with the extra experience boost. And we're not as good with it. But it's just a much better weapon. Okay. So if I go to the machete, um, all right, and I, I'm like, you know. <laughs> Yeah, I, I definitely am going to be using this as our <laughs> as our weapon. It's better than hitting people with the pot. Now, there's other stuff we might want to find, like a hammer to hit people with, but this is an upgrade. All right, so let's go out. This zombie sees us, by the way. Uh, so in this case, there's no reason to crouch. We'll just kind of hold this down, and we'll just practice zombie fighting. And smash it. And what did she have? Uh, she had a fork. She was coming at us with a fork. How about that? Let's get inside their shed. Or their garage. See if there's anything good in here. There's a zombie coming. Expect this. We're conspicuous so the zombies are coming. And to be honest, it's really not that big of a deal. It's like you want to get rid of the zombies anyway. Okay, we already killed him easily. All right. Um, great. Okay. So, it's a good idea just to be ready for combat. Understand, here they come. There's actually two of them right here. So, this is a little bit scarier. I'm going to stop crouching, and I'm going to walk. Remember, do not run from zombies, because um, it will attract more zombies. And that's just really not what we're looking at. Looks like these zombies already got distracted. Like, they already lost us. Uh, so, 
I only want one of them if I can. Let's see here. There's one in the hat. Let's just walk over here. And let's just calmly fight this one. Remember, you got to turn around to see that zombie. All right. And we're just going to get some practice space here. And push him down. There we go. Got it. All right. Let me make sure the other zombie didn't come. Okay. Great. And there is one more zombie up here. Well, I want inside this garage. I really do. So, it might be around the corner, this other zombie. Yeah. Oh, there's two more. Okay. So, remember, just walk calmly, break line of sight, and you should be able to break up the packs. And if not, we can just climb over this fence and run away. This is our little kill zone. Yeah, this zombie already lost interest. That's how fast they lose interest. That's how easy it is to break their line of sight. I just went around the corner and that zombie was like, I lost you. He was really intent, or they were really intent. Here comes one. Okay. Let's just pull him back. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay, she's coming. All right, hit her. Oh, she killed her. You see that Machete just does so much damage. It is an incredibly powerful um, tool. Okay, for killing. We don't have the watch, but you can tell it's getting dark. I know there was another zombie over here, so I want to take it out, but it's a little bit harder given the darkness. So we need to just bail. Lock that door. You might think it's ridiculous, and you know, in a way it kind of is, but locking the door just makes it so the zombies will have to knock it down and that can be all the difference in the world all right so we're going to go up and we're going to say okay which bedroom do we want to sleep in uh is there a bedroom up here that has a chair in it this one has like a plastic chair that's not bad we can go ahead and close these curtains remember though you don't always have to close the curtains on the second floor. The zombies can't really come in. I'm This room is much better. The second floor, it's just for the light. It, like If they see the light, they will be drawn to the house, and then they'll come in on the ground floor, which you still don't want. All right, we're getting hungry and thirsty, so let's go ahead and uh, close this curtain and drink. I want to turn on the lights. It's a little too dark for me in here. Okay, and there should be a light switch for this room. Yeah, here it is. There we go. Okay. And let's just eat some stuff. Let's go in the fridge. What you got? Radish, lemon. Lemon is actually not that great um, for eating. There's paper bags um, over here in one of these cabinets. Empty gardening spray can. Yeah, there's some good stuff here. Um, actually, lighter is good. We'll take it. Empty jar. You can use that. All right. Let's go ahead and eat. Open it. This saucepan, by the way, I'm going to put it in my bag. Um, but even then, we're getting encumbered a little bit. I'm going to drop these shoes on the ground. Um, I need to put these buckets, uh, these buckets outside. I'm going to just put them down here for now to remember. And then we're going to eat all these beans. I'm sorry. When I say beans, I mean corned beef, of course. Delicious corned beef. All right. And then we just go upstairs. And um, we're full. We can get rid of this tin can. 
this sheet rope I'm going to put in my backpack. And you can see, by the way, that that just helped our encumbrance. Just by dropping those, those buckets and the shoes, we're good to go. So at this point, we're going to go in here and we're going to close the door. Okay. And we're just going to remember, I'm going to push I to close the inventory. We're going to walk over here. We're going to click pick up on this dark wooden chair. And then I'm going to push tab and place the dark wooden chair right here in front of the door. And we're good. And it's dark. So we're not tired right now. It's more we're just going to uh, take a snooze so that it's daytime and we can explore better uh, and see things. I could use my hand torch, of course, but... Uh, It just attracts zombies. So um, we're going to go ahead and sleep. Yep. And we'll just pass some time. This will cure our fatigue anyway. We won't be tired. And we can wake up like this. And let's open the window. And look, it's lighter again. There's a bunch of zombies across the street. Okay, so we have to watch out for that. And... What is our next job? Our next job here is to get back to our body, okay? I'm going to put this back down and figure out where we want to build a base. But this area that we're in on the map, let's mark it, okay? So we have cleared out this home and this home. And I'm going to make a note over here, which say um, two-story homes, okay? And in that way, we know that in this neighborhood, we've got the two-story homes that we can come back through and build a base. But before that, we're going to need to get some tools. We don't have any tools. We're going to need a saw, and we're going to need a hammer. We could look for those, or what we could do is just make a run and try to get them back from our body. Now, if we want to do that, which is actually a really good plan, we would need to just dump a bunch of stuff out of our bag that we don't need to carry, like this rope, saucepan. Um, well, first of all, what you want to do is filter it by encumbrance. Yep. And we can get rid of even our ke water kettle. Um, we can get rid of this because we have a bottle of water that we can carry, and we should be fine. Get rid of this rope. And get rid of the saucepan. And we can just put all these on the ground. All I'm doing right now is making sure I have enough space in my hiking bag and enough encumbrance room overall to carry the items that I want from my corpse back here easily. So that's the plan. And this could easily be our base as well. It's a nice home. It's easy to fortify. Um, and we can learn that there's a bunch of tables and furniture in here that we can break up. And so now it's about making that corpse run, getting back to our body. But we've started a new character. We talked about traits. We respect this character, gave it a really good build. And we found a machete in the backpack, and we're cooking with gas. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful. We're going to work on building a base, getting our body back, and making even more progress next time. Take care. <laughs>